Joining me now is Hogan Gidley, former White House Deputy Press Secretary and Director of Election Integrity at the America First Policy Institute. Also with me is Ben Domenech, editor-at-large for The Spectator and Fox News contributor. Ben, it's great to see you guys tonight. Um, we just learned that Biden is now, in his administration, is begging OPEC not to continue with its plan to dramatically cut oil production. So now Biden it has a two-step going on. He's crushing our energy production here and then prostrating America uh, before despots. How, how is this good oh, for well, us? Well, it's super... It's super easy, Laura. I mean, every time that the prices go down, that's something that you can uh, thank President Biden for. And every time they go up, it's someone else's fault. Look, everything that you laid out there and the angle is, is completely correct. This is uh, an effort in gaslighting that we've seen over the past several years, unlike anything that I've ever seen politically, where every single time that they are confronted with being called on uh, the type of, of uh, ramifications for the policy that they're advocating for, they point to the other side and say, oh, no, this is their fault. They're the ones doing this thing. They're the ones tearing down our institutions. They're the ones who are engaging in dangerous anti-democratic activity. You know, when, when President Biden goes out there and scares up all sorts of people about the ramifications of the elections in Italy just the other day, you know, he's engaging in something that is clearly anti-democratic, anti, you know, elections. And that's something yet that he turns around and says, oh, well, I'm just trying to defend, you know, democracy against these dangerous populist authoritarians or something like that. It's absolutely laughable. And once you see it, you see it over and over mm. and over again. Right. And this is the entire approach that we've seen under the Obama-Biden era of the Democratic Party. Yeah, it's a yeah. smear machine. And Hogan, the Lincoln project stooges are out in full force again and again they have really no successes so it's only talking points against republicans who by the way are not in the majority watch now the republican party has become a party of misogyny a party of racism bigotry of hypocrisy of of, of rewarding liars and people who are completely unqualified to represent Anyone, they're not qualified to be dog catcher. That is incredibly dangerous for our democracy. Hogan, it's so easy to defeat her non points, it's almost not worth even bothering. But who kept uh, disadvantaged kids locked down in urban areas? Who prevented vouchers from being uh, given to parents to switch schools if they wanted to? Who did all of this? The Republicans? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely. And your monologue to echo Ben was right on point. I mean, the hypocrisy, obviously. But the irrational, illogical, uh, you know, thought process of the left is so problematic. But the policies they've put in place in the last two years have hurt real Americans. Now, the left and the media and Joe Biden will work together to tell you all of these things are happening to him. All the problems we face, they're happening to Joe Biden. No, no, they're happening because of Joe Biden. And so all the issues that are actually going to drive people out to the polls, crime, for example, as you pointed out, spiking all over the country, the rapes, the burglaries, the murders. I mean, we could see a Republican governor in Oregon, of all places, because of their defund the police policies and their refusal to prosecute those who commit crimes. The southern border is wide open, drugs pouring into our communities, human trafficking, child smuggling, all times high, at all time highs. And you pointed out the energy crisis. We're paying more for gas and for groceries than we ever have. And surprise, surprise, Joe Biden goes to OPEC. He, you mean we can't run this country on Skittles and gummy bears and unicorn hair? We actually need oil out there? I mean, the whole thing is a joke. The American people feel the brunt of these policies, and they're going to blame the Democrats because, yes, they are in control. They'll pay the price this November. You know, Ben, I was thinking about their decision making when they really pushed Biden to the forefront in the nomination process, right? A lot of the left didn't want Biden, but he was kind of, he was the reassuring choice for middle America. Mm -hmm. But they needed someone strong in there who could kind of, you know, give a stiff arm to the left. They made a big miscalculation with Biden, huge miscalculation in the end. 
it was a huge miscalculation. And you and I were there, Laura, in South Carolina, where we saw Biden kind of cement this, you know, clearly backed by Barack Obama. I have to disagree slightly with your uh, definition of the success of the Lincoln Project. I think they were very successful at covering up the attempts by one of their co-founders to uh, solicit uh, younger men, uh, as we've learned over Grooming. the years. But I right. do think that when it, when it came to when it came to the situation that we saw with Biden, he was someone that they thought would be able to be this kind of moderate, normalcy-based candidate. But what we've seen when it comes to his presidency is anything but. He has cast aside any of the kind of norms that we've talked about, accepted over the years about the presidency. He's made our relationships with our allies worse. As Tulsi Gabbard said in your open, uh, he has led us in uh, through his horrible foreign policy decisions up to the brink of potentially nuclear warfare with Russia. It's a complete disaster. And I think Democrats actually, when you get them a few beers in, they will admit this truth about his presidency. But it's a horrible situation for the country. It's the worst kind of time for a Biden presidency. And he's really led us into, I think, one of the worst scenarios that we are facing as a country at home and abroad. It's unexpectedly terrible in a lot of different ways. Yeah, I mean, thermonuclear war, a possibility, but COVID apparently was a much worse possibility for people who had very little risk for serious illness. I mean, sure. you, you cannot make this up. Hogan, Ben, great to see you both. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.